Welcome to the Daily App Show. Today we're going to demo an app for you called Alarm Clock. This app is available in the Google Play Store for your Android device. Now this app, Alarm Clock, two words, is developed by a company called Micropinch. They're responsible for 35 million other downloads within the Google Play Store, so you're going to want to check this app out. And you'll see up here in our notifications that we're already having one alarm set for 630. So if we open it up, you'll also see that alarm set right down there. You could turn it on and off with a little toggle right here. Alarm set is in 15 hours. Uh, so it's 312, and right now the setting that we're using is digital light. Now you can go to your settings and you can change the clock format between three other types, analog dark, analog light, or digital dark. Like I said, we're in digital light. We'll just go ahead and keep it there. You can change the time format. You can change the notifications. Let's go ahead and head back for right now. Now let me show you how to add another alarm. Go ahead and add new. Let's go ahead and set this one for 3.15 p.m. You could title it whatever you'd like. Uh, you could set a repeat for every Sunday, every Monday, whatever day you wanted it to repeat. And you could select multiple days for it to repeat as well. And then you can change the snooze time. So if you wanted uh, you know, a little bit more rest or a little bit more time before you had to go to your next appointment, whatever it may be, you can go ahead and change that all right in here. And then you can change the sound, which is very neat. You could pull from the music that's on your phone, different ringtones you have, or you can just choose the alarm tones that they have. So let's just go ahead and preview this one. Sounds good. I think that would wake me up. Done. We've set all that. Now you just go ahead and end it. And there we go. Our alarm is set for 3.15, which is in a minute from now. So the last thing I'll show you is if you can also add a new timer. So this is your minutes counter over here, and this is your hours. So if maybe you had a meeting coming up in a minute or so, or you had so much time to finish one project, then you could just go ahead and set it. You can enter a title for it, set it to repeat once again, or not to repeat. Um, and then you can also change again the snooze time within here and the sounds and whether or not you want it to vibrate. We'll go ahead and click done. So now that's going off in 58 seconds. And then we also have our 315 alarm about to go off pretty soon as well. So now if we wanted to shut that off before it has to go off, again, you could just toggle it right there. But for the sake of giving you an example of what it's like when the alarm goes off, I'm going to go ahead and turn that back on. And I'm going to go back to our timer and I'm going to turn that off. So now the timer's off, but we have that alarm set for 315. So now in 20 seconds, you're going to see what it's like when the alarm actually goes off. And the other great thing about the app is that it doesn't matter if you're on a large tablet or a small phone. You're not going to lose the resolution of the screen. You're going to have the same great look across all the different platforms of Android devices. Now our alarm's about to go off. So there's what it looks like when the alarm goes off. And now you can snooze for another nine minutes, or you can just stop the alarm right here. I'm going to go ahead and stop it. And boom, we're taken right back home, just like that. Great app, it could sit on your desktop, and it even has algorithms built into it to where the alarm's not going to interrupt you if you happen to be on a phone call, something like that sort. So it's very versatile, it's a great app, it's clean, and it's very friendly. So go ahead and check out Alarm Clock on the Google Play Store by Micropitch. Thanks so much for checking out The Daily App Show.